hello guys welcome back to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you how we can copy a code from one pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller to another this technique is very useful especially when you want to make a backup of a program burned in a pic microcontroller you do not have the original file but you do have a microcontroller having a program so for in such a scenario to make backup of that program you need this technique so let's get started this is a pic 16 f 77 a microcontroller i am going to use it has 40 pin and it's a dip version but what i am going to do is that to demonstrate to you how this technique work i am going to burn a program in this microcontroller and that program will be act as a dummy program then i will show you the working of this program that is working 100% correctly then what i am going to do is that i will use a picket 3.5 programming device and a picket 3.5 programming tool that's a small software to export that code from that from this microcontroller and that exported code will be a backup in my hard drive and then i will erase the original dummy code from this uh, microcontroller and i will burn the exported code that is exported backup into this microcontroller and then i will show you the working of the original and the export they will work exactly the same in this way you can take out or export code or copy code from any existing microcontroller and burn it into as many microcontrollers for your backup as much you want the good thing is the exported code goes into your hard drive so you whenever you buy a new microcontroller you can burn it with a picket 3.5 programming device and picket 3.5 programming tool software so let's get started for a dummy code i'm going to use three leds as you can see each led has two pin one is longer and one is shorter and we all know the shorter pin is a ground pin while the longer pin is a power pin to connect the longer pin with a pick you can use any available digital input output pin i am going to use pin number c3 that is pin number 18 for the top led pin number d0 for the right led that is pin number 19 and pin number 20 that is pin number d1 of the pick 16 fn mic f a double seven a microcontroller for the third led on the left then i will program these leds using the microcontroller but before that as you can see the shorter pin is the ground pin you connect them connect this all three of these to the common ground in this way our connections are complete now i'm going to program this microcontroller in such a way that when the program runs the top led turns on then the right led turns on then the third led turns on and then again the top right third and keeps on going forever so in this way our programming will work so let's get to the hardware let me introduce you to the hardware first so this is the hardware as you can see this is the hardware i'm going to use here you can see that this is a picket 3.5 programming device this is a pic 16 fa 77 a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version and these are the three leds i'm going to use in this programming so let's get to our micro c4 pic programming to program this dummy code so for this purpose this is a micro c4 pic programming tool i'm going to use here you can see that so let me zoom in it for you go to the left i'm using uh, the version 7.2.0 7.5.0 is the latest one you can use any version as you like i will click on new new project this window pops up you can see that standard project click on next write the name of the project i write dummy code 2 in the newer versions you cannot give spaces in the project name so you have to be careful like this you can use slashes bars anything as you like so the pro microcontroller i'm using is a pic 16 fa 77 a and the crystal i'm using is 20 megahertz now click on next finish so this is our programming window here since we are using three leds as shown in the presentation let me show you again those leds we are using c3 d0 and d1 pin we need to initialize these pins as output to support the leds so let's program them as outputs so first of all trace c dot f3 equals to zero it is declared output this zero means it's an output pin while if it was one it means it's a button pin it's an input pin now write the initial state state of the led initially the led must be zero like this give some initialization delay i give 50 millisecond initialization delay like this now for the second led do the same 
copy this and for the third LED do the same second LED is pin number D dot F0 D dot F0 third LED is D dot F1 like this all three LEDs have been initialized now we go to our forever loop write down while one forever loop starts here ends here make it look presentable like this so first of all the first LED turns on like this it's one while the rest of the two LEDs are zero so you copy the second LED save your code first it's very good practice to save code second LED sorry second LED is this one I copy it paste it here this is a second LED which is zero and the third LED is also zero only the first LED is one in the first stage and it should remain like this for uh, as much you uh, 0 0.5 second that is what I select so for a half second first LED will remain all while the rest of the two are off now in the second half first LED goes zero and the second LED turns on like this now in the third half as shown in the presentation first LED and the second LED both are zero on only the third LED turns on now it will keep on repeating itself because it's a forever loop now you click on build button and check messages for errors there are no errors it's successfully compiled now guys we cannot burn this directly into our microcontroller to burn this code into our microcontroller we will need a picket 3.5 programming software and also to make that software work we will need to connect the picket 3.5 in a manner i show you in the presentation so guys our coding is done now the next thing is how to connect this with the picket 3.5 programming software how you can connect that programming device onto the microcontroller i already have a video on this setting up a pick i will share that video link in the description still for your revision i'm gonna again show you the wiring so guys So guys, this is our PIC 16 fa 7 a microcontroller as shown in the presentation. This is our PICKET 3.5 programming device. You can buy it from the market. You can see it has six pins. The one under the arrow is the first pin. Let me label them. See, these are six pins like this. Now, before you continue, first of all, you have to do is that since you can see on the PIC 16 fa 7 a here, this is a VCC pin. This is a VCC pin. Then we have ground and ground pin. There are two VCC and two ground pin. In the internal architecture of the PIC, these pins are not shorted with each other. First of all, you short the VCC pin with a VCC pin, ground pin with a ground pin. For doing any type of programming, PIC 16F8 a will never work until you do not do this externally. This is not done internally in the architecture. So you have to do it externally. So guys, in this way, our first step is completed. Now, secondly, let me show you how to connect the Picket 3.5 with the microcontroller. You can make a small board on which you will insert the microcontroller whose code is to be copied. And then you will insert the other microcontroller in which you want to paste that code. So the first pin is a pin number one under the arrowhead. This will go to the pin number one of the Pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller that is to the MCLR pin. Now, the second pin, as told you earlier, will go between one and 32. 1 and 32 will be shorted VCC and then the second pin of the picket you can say picket 3.5 will go to this point and the third pin is a ground pin it will go to the common ground that is pin number 12 and 31 in this way third pin is connected now the fourth pin will go to the pin number 40 of the pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller you connect it like this the fifth pin is will go to the pin number 39 of the pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller and the sixth pin goes to the pin number 36 of the pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller you can make a pcb of this connection every time you you connect this exactly same pins are needed to read and write a data from the pic 16 fa 7 a still your code will not work you can read and write code in this formation you have to connect a 10 kilo ohm resistor between the pin number 1 and 11 one end of the resistor will go to the pin number 1 of the pic 16 fa 7 a and the second end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor will go to the pin number 11 that is a vcc pin you can use the vcc pin pin number 32 as well or the second pin of the pics header in this way our connections are complete now you can use this uh, connection setup 
to read data, read a program or write a program into the PIC16 FA77 and microcontroller as you like. Now let me show you the program we just wrote. We will use this Picket 3. This is a Picket 3 programmer software. Now the problem with this programming software is that it is not easily available on the internet. You cannot download directly from anywhere because it's an old old software but it's not an old software you can say it's not a famous software so without this you cannot do the read and write operation it works with picket 3.5 mp lab do have a built-in software but for the micro c you need this so to use it to download this i'm gonna make your life easy see that in the uh, in the description of this video i will i will give you this link this is a link to my google drive i had already uploaded it set up to my google drive you simply paste the link in your address bar of your browser it will lead you to this page see here you have this download button you can download this from here or it's better this will be the link i will give you this link is better so you simply let me give you the link again this is a link i will give you in the description you go to your google you simply paste it here and click run go it will lead you to this page here on the right you have this download button you click on this it will lead you to this page it is a link to my google drive i had uploaded a setup and it will remain there you can download the setup as many times as you want you click on download anyway it will download the software like this in zip format then you go to the downloaded format you click on open here you will open it this is the setup inside it you double click the setup it will run the setup and now you have the setup you simply have to install it wherever you want it's a simple easy to use software do not require any crack it's a free software so in this way you will acquire this software from my link of my google drive and then once it's downloaded you turn on the software first of all you turn on the software then you connect your picket 3 to your computer's usb port and you click on check communication and if the picket is detected it will share write the message here found picket 3 now it's good to go then you select your microcontroller whichever you are using i'm using pic 16 fa 77 a and you do the connections of your uh, uh, board as shown in the presentation just right now and then you insert your pick microcontroller onto the jacket and you click on read if your connections are correct it will read like this successfully it means the controller is connected first of all it is if there is any program then we go to file click on import the program we just wrote is dummy code 2 you double click on it click on write the new code is being written let me show you the hardware as well see the new code is being written into the microcontroller okay it's successfully written and it is working as intended you can see that you do not need to power it up from a separate source as vcc and ground pin of the pic kit 3.5 are connected with the vcc and ground pin of the pic microcontroller you simply have to click here that this on button it will give 5 volt this is a voltage you can select easily see i am giving 5 volt from the pic 3.5 using this software pic 3 programming software now this program will be used to export see the our dummy code is working as intended each led turns on in a sequence of after 0.5 second delay like this now what i'm gonna do is that i will export this code suppose that we do not have original file and this is the code we need to export you click on the file on the file you have this export key you click on it it will lead you to this window write the name of the exported file i write exported dummy code from pick this is the name i'm gonna write whatever is in the pick it will export this hex file into our computer and this is the place where it will save it i click on save our file has been exported now what i do is that i erase the original code like this see the original code is erased it is no longer working although we had powered it up using our pick pick at 3.5 i click on erase again and then i verify it verify function is used that whatever is in he loaded here in the source must be in the microcontroller there is nothing in the source so there is nothing in the microcontroller so it is verified successfully now what i am going to do is that i am going to import the new file this is the file exported dummy code from pic see this is the file i click on open 
the file now see exported dummy code from pic this is a file i exported this is not the original file suppose i do not have the original file but i do have a pic microcontroller i exported this data from this microcontroller now i click on write see the exported file is being written this is our backup file we exported from this microcontroller see it's written and this program is working exactly the same as shown in the presentation with the original file see original file was working also the same way and the exported file is also working the same way so in case you had lost the original file and you want to make a backup of a programming of a pic 16 fa 7 a microcontroller you will use this technique you need a picket 3.5 programming device you will need a picket 3 programming software whose link I will give in the description and you can download it as many times as you want from the link of link of my Google Drive. So this is this is the link I will give in the description. So guys I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you very much for your time and interest in my channel and have a nice day.